Oh boy, it's your boy Kilo Loco, and we are gonna be passing some data today. Aw yeah, we're gonna be using Segway and Unwind to pass that data. So the tools that we're gonna be using today are Xcode 9 and Swift 4. And I think just about everybody can follow along on this one. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward as long as you know how to drag you know labels and and buttons onto the onto the storyboard and do that stuff by yourself unless you absolutely need the starter project which you can find right there then you're probably going to be good so you'll be fine don't worry about it all right so what we're going to be building as you can see um let me uh let me clear that out you weren't supposed to see that all right so what we're going to be building is we're going to be building this app it's so sexy and beautiful ain't it and uh what we're going to do is we're going to have two view controllers the first one's going to be called few food view controller <laughs> the second one's going to be called drink view controller uh what we'll be doing is in the food view controller we'll be passing a drink We'll be entering a drink right here and we'll be passing that drink to the next view controller. So if we pass in some vodka, some vodka, and we pass that to the drink view controller, you can see that it will display right here. And if we wanted to enter in a uh, food, well, we could just enter in some pizza because we fatties and we like damn pizza. And as you can see, it appears right here. So that's all we're going to be building it's pretty simple pretty straightforward and i think anybody can figure it out yeah all right so let's go into the code and let's see how it's done kyle all right well starting with the um, view controller as you can see two view controllers that look almost identical um you have just a label up here just you know specifying what view, view controller we're in we have another invisible label right here and right here um, just to say what food was passed or what drink was passed from the previous view controller and then we have a text field that will allow us to enter in a drink or enter in a food and then a button that just simply does the segue for us and we'll be passing all the data via code yeah all right so let's get into the code what do we have in there well would you look at that it's pretty empty in there all we have is the food display label connected which is going to display the food that was passed from the drink piece, um, view controller and a drink text field which will allow us to enter what drink we want to pass to the drink view controller well what's in the drink pc oh would you look at that it's almost the same thing oh my god oh my god okay so as you can see, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So what we want to do is the first thing we want to do is just make a simple segue. I think we all know how to do that, right? Just uh, right click and drag or option click and drag to the view controller that you want to see. And we're going to just, you know, show it because we like to be show offs. And that will allow us to already perform the segue. We'll just, you know, press this button and it will automatically be like, pew and it'll go over here which is pretty cool now my xcode's going pretty slow makes me sad so here we go it's finally about to pull up and here we go damn app got stuck on stupid for a second all right so as you can see um this won't work so if we pass in you know some some just regular old water and we try to do past drinks since we only have the segue we gonna get a whole lot of nada. We're just getting that, you know, view controller being shown. And that's all the functionality that we've implemented so far. So let's go back to our view controller, our food VC. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna, you know, prepare for a segue. Oh yeah. Now the segue um, is of type UI storyboard segue. And what the segue has is if we look at it, if we do segue period, we should get a list of all the different properties that come with it. Um, so we have a destination, you know, um, identifier, perform, source, and that's pretty much it. So what we really want is this destination right here because we're gonna, we want to make sure that the destination is the view controller that we're expecting. And the view controller that we're expecting to go to is drink VC. So what we have to do 
is we want to say um, we want to get this destination but we want to cast it as a drink VC so what we have to do is we have to we have to be cool like Kyle and we have to do the guards with the you know how we do it you know guard let drink VC is equal to segue dot dot the destination that we're planning on going to destination as you know drink low Kyle learn how to type my god Kyle my god else you know return and we're gonna just you know if we can't cast the destination as a drink VC well then we don't want to play anymore because this game sucks right right okay so now that we have the drink VC we can access any of the properties that we have listed in the drink VC so what you might think that you'd want to do is do drink VC and since the drink VC has um, the label that we're trying to access which is the dis um, drink display label you might think oh well you could just do drink display label dot text is equal to um, whatever we typed in right here the drink the drink text field uh, take the damn Kyle you don't know how to talk today text field dot text right and you know you know uh, um, you know, s s like it kind of makes sense, but it, it, it's it's not gonna work that way. And um, you know, extra points to the person that knows why this doesn't work properly. We're gonna see what happens right now. It's alive. All right. So now, what do we want to pass over there? We want to pass over um, some of some some of that drank. You know, because we like to pass that drink, and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa! The hell you trying to do over here? Okay, I don't know what you're trying to, I don't know what you're trying to pull, but that ain't gonna fly with me. And the reason why is because the drink display label has not been instantiated yet, so you can't pass a value to this to this um, label or any of its properties yet because it hasn't been instantiated yet. Um, so what we want to do is we want to go back over to the drink VC and we want to have um, a property that can hold um, a, a stored property that can hold that value. So what we can do is we can just say variable um, drink value is of type string. Now, um, since um, we have to specify if it's optional or um, mandatory, we'll just say mandatory or explicit or whatever you want to call it uh, because we want our our app to crash if this is not properly being passed because we need like some type of warning or else we make it some weird behavior you could do it optional if you want it but uh, this will tell you right away that something's not right so what we're gonna do is instead of passing it to something that hasn't been initialized yet we're just gonna pass it to the drink value which is just a, pro a property that can hold that value for us so we'll just do drink value is equal to whatever we type into the drink text field dot text now that won't do it alone right because this is not connected to any ui what we can do though is we can delete this and you know get this out of here you know how we do it just get, just get that out some spring cleaning up in here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna access our drink display label like we were bef trying to do before but since this this code is called after the view did load. Now we can access um, the drink label because it has been initialized, properly initialized, and we'll just set it to whatever the drink value is, right? So let's go ahead and run that bad boy. We're gonna work that compiler. Run program, run program. Show me what you're working with. Work that, let me get you code wet damn xcode you must be fat because you're getting slow homie all right so the drink that we're going to be passing right now to see if we have properly set up everything is some slim fast because um, xcode needs it and we're going to pass that drink and as you can see it passed over that slim fast Woo! all right so now we we passed it via segue right but a lot of people know that but how do we pass it back and how do we unwind and how do we do this and how do we do that? All right. Well, hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second, man.
I'm working on it. First, we're gonna do some spring cleaning because I don't like to look at all this. This just is, this is it's just ugly. I hate that. I hate it. All right. So what we have to do is something super weird. It doesn't make sense in my brain. But what we have to do is we have to create an IB outlet, right? And we're just gonna create it like normal. Weak variable or not an outlet. I'm sorry, stupid Kyle. It's uh, action IB action, and we're gonna call it um, did unwind and uh, you could call it whatever you want i'm just gonna make it more clear for you guys did unwind from um drink vc right and this is just going to be kind of like a normal function but what you want to do is in the in the arguments you want to pass a parameter as um and you can you don't need to do the underscore but you know whatever the the sender is of type UI storyboard, storyboard segue, just like up here. Same type of object, right? Well, what we want to do is we remember that um, that the segue has a couple of different properties. Now, instead of the destination, what we want to do is get the source of that. So, what we want to do is we want to first make sure that the source is still the drink VC. Um, because we want to, we want to know who we're, uh, where the data is coming from, and properly access that data. So we'll do guard let drink vc is equal to segue dot source as drink vc else else return because we don't like to play with you. All right. So if we're able to properly get the drink VC from the um, segue.source, um, if that is the right view controller, then we can access the properties from it. Now, um, since, since this is happening while, uh, let's see, uh, oh no, not segue, it's, we called it sender. You could call it segue up here. That would have wor worked the same too. Um, what was I saying? Oh, since, um, this this food vc is staying alive in the background we don't have to worry about um having like like the 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 food display label it will stay alive right so we don't have to worry about um having like a food value it, um this will automatically stay alive and, and we'll actually see that when we unwind that our text field still has the value that we passed into it so what we can do is we can just say um our drink uh, or no, not our drink. Our food display label label dot text is equal to, and since the um, the text field is still alive, the food text field in the drink VC we can access that directly. Drink VC dot food text field dot text, right? So now, now we have code that's gonna, um, you know, grab what's in the food text field dot text from the drink VC and pass it into our food display label dot text that's right here in our food in our food um, VC. But there's one other thing. Remember that this is an IB action, so we have to um, hook it up in the storyboard. Now, even though we have the IB outlet over here, somehow, you know program magic what you got to do is you have to right click and drag or option click and drag and you want to go over here to the exit you're going to drop it and it's going to it's going to show your um your action right there or your function did unwind from drink vc remember remember we typed that out so we're going to click that and now if we just go ahead and run this bad boy all right, so it looks like it's coming up. So what we need to pass to Xcode is some Jenny Craig milk. And then um, we're gonna pass that drink and it's gonna show just like as we expected. And um, the food that we wanna pass back to our food VC is some vegetables because yeah. So now we're gonna pass the food. Remember, it's gonna do the unwind that was connected to the exit. 
And bam, vegetables. Yeah, Xcode can go on a healthy diet and become faster. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's all you really need to know. If you want to look at that code again real quick, um, once again, in the food VC, we're just preparing for that segue and we're passing the data um, like so. Um, this is an overridden function. So this will be a part of any view controller that you have. And we're just grabbing that segue, um, making sure that the destination is whatever we expect it to be. And then we once we um, you know, cast it as whatever view controller we're expecting it, we can access that view controller's values like, such as drink value. Um, you know, and since we can't access the drink display label directly because it might not or it will not be initialized yet when we're passing that data, what we'll do is we'll pass that data to the drink value, which will um, update the drink display label once the view did load. Um, going back to the, the unwind part of the code. Um, remember that it's an IB outlet that happens on your main view controller or your starting view controller or wherever you're trying to unwind back to. And the sender is going to be a UI storyboard segue, which has to be connected in whatever view controller you're trying to unwind from. So um, the source of that unwind, see the sender is the segue, right? The segue dot source. We're casting that as whatever view controller we think that it is, which we we know that it's going to be a drink VC. So we're casting it as that. Once again, accessing the drink VC's properties, the food text field dot text. Since that um, that text field is already initialized and still alive, um, we can set the text directly to our food display label dot text, which is also still in memory. So that's all we that's all we got to do. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. If you liked this video, thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, well, there's that one trolley person that leaves me one uh, thumbs down every video, so I'll probably get that. If you want to be mean to me, you could go ahead and send one of those my way. Or you could be nice to me, reach out to me on Twitter, cool things like that. Enroll into the YouTube course that I have on kilolocal.com. If you need mentoring, you know, hit up that kilolocal.com slash P slash mentoring. If you need me to build an app for you, kilolocal.com. I don't know why I did the slash on the dot com. kilolocal.com slash P slash build my app. All right. So that's all we have for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, make sure you subscribe and I will see you later. Oh, yeah.